Hello, everybody. Welcome to my women's basketball rantings. This is where I give my thoughts about the happenings in the women's game. If you like this type of content, please like, subscribe, and comment in the comment section below. I put some episode notes down in case you just want to skip to a section that interests you. If you are listening, welcome. If you are not listening, welcome. Let's get started. Today, I'm going to be talking about just my general thoughts of what is going on in the women's game. I have been away for a bit because I've been doing a little bit of traveling and uh, it's just not been very convenient to record. I haven't really watched a lot of games because I've been busy and it's always very hard to watch these games on the road. But now that I'm back, I am back to my watchings if that's a word and it's been crazy it's actually been crazy all all like all year even in december i think i stopped at the south carolina upset last last year a lot of crazy things have happened since then so i'll just go through it let's start with the big boys that's um the south carolina the louisville the tennessee uh, NC State, just the top five. So South Carolina, of course, South Carolina is South Carolina. I don't see anybody beating them right now. But I still feel they definitely need to work a little bit on their offense. They need a better offense. I've been saying this and I'll keep saying this. Defense is good, but it can only get you so far. So that's my thought for South Carolina. Stanford still doing really well. NC State, I really watch, I watched NC State. Um, Louisville, that was a game. Uh, I really thought Louisville was going to win that game. I'm not really a fan of Louisville, as everybody knows. And I really, really like NC State. So I was very happy that they won. Very, very happy. So that was an highlight. Let's just say that Arizona has come back down to earth. I think Arizona is still a very good team. But I, like I said, I want to see them tested. I have not seen them tested. Texas is a fantastic team. Fantastic team. Uh, of course, they drop some funny, funny games sometimes. Like, I do something and they just drop some game. Like, why are you dropping this game? Like, you should win this game. But they are 3 which is definitely more than I can say for UConn. How is UConn number 10? I love UConn. I love UConn. UConn is my team. I love UConn. I love everything about UConn. The program, I've watched all their games. And I don't mean this season. I mean, from the beginning of time. Besides, there's a website called Oski Games, so you can go and watch all their games. UConn is a fantastic program. But this year, I don't think they should be number 10. I don't think they are good enough. They dropped Louisville. They dropped Oregon, which was not even ranked. Oh, they are now ranked, which they should have been. But what I'm saying is they weren't even ranked because of injuries and all that. They were not ranked. They dropped Oregon. Not just dropped. They got a 13-point game. Oregon, Georgia Tech, unranked they dropped georgia tech they dropped louisville honestly have they won any any top 10 team um no not even top 10 top 25 honestly they have not they've not won any top 25 game okay not sure them okay yes yeah but not sure them is like bottom of the barrel top 25 they are good but they are number 20 so they are not really that great so they dropped that They've dropped every all, all their, their, their games in the top 25. So why are they number 10? Like, people have got left this um, AP top 25 for a lot less. So it's like, I really don't understand why they are number 10. I feel they should be, like, number 20. But, hey, it's UConn. They would obviously give them some grace. They are fighting through injuries. And some of their players are really, really stepping up. Like, Caroline Ducham is really, really playing well. Um... And Doka Iwas is playing well. And um, so, yeah, yes, the Nikamil is back. But then uh, uh, against Oregon, I really did, like, that was the test. Like, you know, when you play those funny, um, like I said, that conference, I don't really understand that conference. That, those biggest conferences, those, those teams are not that great. Anybody would drop 20 on those biggest conferences. Yeah, you are playing well, no doubt about it. But the real test is when you play this top 25. And so far, nobody has stepped up. After Paige Beckers, like when Paige Beckers went down, nobody has stepped up against these big teams. Nobody. And they need, that's when you start knowing, okay, who is player? Because they say Oliver Nelson Odola, she got like a double-double, 10 assists and um, 
I don't know, 18 point, um, 18 rebounds, one ridiculous, um, like, no, I think 18 rebounds last um, game against St. John. But like, uh, it's St. John. Nobody cares. Drop, do this against competition. She seems to choke against those competitions. Those guys are, of course, they are the better players. You, you are a good player. Show up those times. So for now, I'm not impressed. I like you, but I'm not impressed. You need to play good teams and win against good teams too bad they are no longer playing against south carolina i would have liked to see them play against them just to see how they are against tough competition because i was not impressed with oregon i was not impressed with louisville so like what are we doing here so i really want to i would have loved to see them play i know they'll lose because well but they might not but they'll probably lose because they lost against oregon so um yeah uh, I'm I'm not impressed. So you can't get your shit together. And they're playing Tennessee, so that should be good. I hope it's not cancelled. So that's a really, really good test. But that's in February, so that will take a bit of time. So I want to see them play good teams and win. Then we start talking. Baylor is Baylor-ing. They're really doing well. Nice as Smith is balling. They have some really good players that are balling. So Baylor is doing well. So LSU is doing well. I just can't see their records speak by for themselves. Iowa State is doing really, really well. Uh, Georgia Tech, as in Georgia Tech was so good. I watched Georgia Tech the North Carolina. Yeah, I watched it. I was uh, they just routed them. So Georgia Tech is doing really, really well. Also, these are really good teams. Uh, Georgia. Uh, I'm surprised they are 15 and 4. I thought they were going to be worse because I've been they, they're quite shaky sometimes. BYU is weird. Uh, Maryland, yes, let's talk Maryland for a bit. What is going on with Maryland? What is going on? 13 6. And the way they've been playing, they've not been playing really well at all. What is wrong with Maryland? They've been losing games that they have no business losing. They lost to Ohio State 95 to 89. I mean, that was a good offensive work, but come on now, Maryland. You can do better than this. I like you guys. I really like you guys. I'm very disappointed. They lost to Michigan in a very disappointing manner. Michigan, um, Maryland is my team, so I'm very invested in them. They're like you guys. Like my teams this year are just messing up UConn is messing up Maryland is messing up I expect perfection I expect you to guys to play well I don't know it's fine I expect you guys to win games yeah, it's fine let me know rant so Maryland lost to Michigan really they lost to Michigan 49-69 so it's like they lost and they lost really really badly like their offense was just nowhere to be found in that game um they lost to Indiana uh they obviously lost to south carolina i think we 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 asked that so my point is like they're like six like six they've lost six games 13 six well like teams like georgia tech uh, arizona texas those teams like their competition are winning games like games that really really good game like upsetting teams so like what is wrong with maryland this is not a team that is going to get to go to the final four i hope they get together before uh March. I really, really hope so. So we have Oklahoma. I don't really know much about them. Notre Dame is really good. Olivia Miles is really, really on, on, on top. Duke is really good. Ohio State is good. I mean, they upset Maryland. They're obviously good. Iowa, my girl, Kathleen Clark has just been killing it, killing it, killing it. My point is, my problem with Iowa is that Iowa is not a good team. Like, they're old. They're not that great of a team. But with Caitlin Clark, she just elevates their play. Uh, if any team is caught slacking, they will take advantage of it because Caitlin Clark is such a dynamic scorer and she's a very good passer. Uh, she's really doing well. She has triple doubles. She's like, I really hope she breaks Sabrina's record for triple doubles. And I think she's really, really on track to break that record. I really like her. I'm always excited to see her play. She just goes for it. She just goes for it. Like, I just love her play. I also love the way she plays. Kansas State is really, really doing well. Like it's one of those teams too that they always, um, they always, uh, they, 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 they play because of just one player. Like their whole offense is 
based on one player, which is Ayuk Lee. And she scored 61 points the other day. I was supposed to watch that game, but I decided to watch Georgia Tech and North Carolina. And I wish I didn't because that game was just a very, very slow, boring slug fest. So I wish I'd watched Kansas State, but I didn't. But it was, uh, I, of course, I saw the videos. She was just killing them, killing them, killing them, killing them, killing them. I'm like, who is this team? Who is this lady? Like, why is she, why is she just scoring, like, at will? Uh, I guess she's just a really good player. And she scored most of those points at the paint. So, I mean, congrats to Ayuki Lee. Please watch her. Uh, she's a junior, so she's definitely not coming into the draft. So, that's it. The Florida Gulf Coast, um, they are doing well. I mean, they have some good teams. Um, they have some good players. And 17-1, they speak for themselves. Although the schedule might not be the greatest, but hey, 17-1 is 17-1. So that's it for uh for my top 25. Yukon is still bad. Uh, Maryland is still bad. And I like Iowa just for Kathleen Clark. So that's it. It's a bit of a true anyhow video. So just bear with me. I'm getting back into the groove. And uh, this is just my rant, really. Moving on, uh, just quickly, I'm not going to give you my final four predictions like I always do. South Carolina, I'm thinking they stand for because they've been really, really playing well this year. I still think NC State, and I'm really, really sure Tennessee will probably be sneaking to this final four this year. Um, okay, so you know what? I'm going to remove Stanford and put Louisville. Even though they lost to NC State, I still believe they are actually a really good team and they can really, really make a push if they get their shit together. So that's it. South Carolina, Louisville, Tennessee, and Stanford. Stanford and NC State interchange, but I mean, Stanford are looking good lately. So I'll leave it. I'll leave them there. Um, okay. So that's it for my NCAA recap. Please watch the games as always. Thanks for watching. Please listen, like, comment, everything that you need to do. Have a good day. Thank you.